My family, if Harry Meghan were back in the road forward, this time serving Charles, and let's say, for example, the royal family said, let's send Harry Meghan to this Commonwealth country, Nigeria, or any other country. What would that mean? It means that, number one, that carnival of so-called experts who are members of the Orota, those who cover Britain's royal family for a living, would have all the right in the world to accompany and follow Harry and Meghan on the visit that they're making to my family, a foreign country or a commonwealth country. They'd have that right. Remember, the royal family, William and Charles, have a deal with the British tabloid media, whereby before any other foreign media outlet can have any kind of access to members of the royal family, UK media must have access before anybody else, before anyone else. UK media are the ones who must have access to members of the royal family before any other media outlet around the world, my family, outside of the UK. That's a deal that the royal family have made with the British tabloid media. And that has made carnival of so-called experts to think that they own members of the royal family, to think that they have a right to exploit members of the royal family. And that's why, even if Harry and Meghan are not serving Charles, UK media still believe or think that they have all the right in the world to be the first ones to cover Harry and Meghan. They are the ones who feel like they should be invited by Harry and Meghan themselves to attend events and engagements that Harry and Meghan are doing. But my family, all these years, even after Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family, not once have Harry and Meghan ever invited the UK media into their lives, not even once. As they keep on saying, Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with the British tabloid media. However, the British tabloids want everything to do with Harry and Meghan. Because they believe that they own them. Because they believe that Harry and Meghan are owned by them. They even believe that Harry and Meghan's kids, that they own them, that UK media should have rights over them. And my family, that's why time and time again we keep seeing and hearing straight from carnival of so-called experts who keep demanding to be granted access to Archie and Lily Bedana. And they've been using some tricks to try and get what they want. For example, they've been saying that, you know what, Megan, please send Thomas Markle a picture of your kids. He, he should be able to see his grandkids. UK Media have been using Thomas Markle to try and get what they want. And that is a photograph of Archie and Lilibet, which they want to use to make money for themselves. Remember what they did with the letter that Megan had sent to Thomas Markle, UK Media, as I've said, they want a repeat of that. They want a repeat of that. My family, Megan is not sending Thomas Markle any picture of her kids. She's not. And now my family, UK Media are now using Charles' name to try and find a way to gain that picture, that million dollar picture of Archie 
a little bit that they really, really want, which they believe will make them a fortune. And my family, I hope they never ever get what they want. But first, can you please hear what I am currently talking about my family? Can you please, you know, look at this, please? Um. Kate published on what would have been the late Queen's 97th birthday with all the, grand with all the grandchildren great and great-grandchildren. Yeah. I mean, minus Basically. the Sussex um, great-grandchildren, uh, of course. But it just shows you that that is one time, the Sandringham as well, but one time where the family can really all get together. Get together. And the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren can all share that experience at what was the late Queen's you know, favourite residence. I mean, we, we know that the Sussexes won't be going this mm -hmm. summer because they're otherwise engaged. But do you foresee a time that maybe that we might get that picture, that lineup of all well, the kids together? You know, as, as long as as long as Harry is battling the government over his security, he says it's too dangerous to bring Meghan and his children to the UK unless that full security is restored, which was um, removed from him when he stepped down from official working duties. I think it's very unlikely, yeah. um, which is a real shame because. You know, those children are growing up with very little contact with the rest of the wider royal family. And, you know, they have and we know from his... You know, I feel so sick when I see carnival or so-called experts who played a part in bullying Megan throughout her pregnancy, acting as if they care about Archie and Lilibet. That makes me sick. That makes me sick. These people who bully Harry and Meghan on a daily basis, act as if they care about Prince Archie, act as if they care about Princess Lilibet Diana. My family, they don't care. Let nobody tell you or lie to you that you give me the care about Archie and Lilibet. Oh, when you hear this language that, you know, it's so sad that Archie and Lilibet won't be able to get to know their wider, you know, family. My family. Let me kind of just, you know, say this. I am sure, and even Harry has said, that's why I'm saying I'm sure. Harry said that uh, he did want his kids to get to know their cousins. But my family... One can never ever make the mistake of ignoring what happens throughout history. UK media are people who are the ones creating all this drama around Harry Meghan. What do you think they intend on doing to Archie and Lily Bettana if they are ever granted any kind of access to them? Do you think that the people who have bullied Meghan throughout her pregnancy, care about Archie? Care about Lilibet Diana? Wish them well, want them to be well? Do you think that to be the case? Do you think that that is the case? The answer is no. You can mean they don't, don't care about Archie, about Lilibet, about Megan. They only care about how much money they can make off of a picture of Archie and Lilibet Standing or sitting next to William and Kate's kids. And my family, that will mean UK media have two factions. Harry and Megan's kids and versus William and Kate's kids. Which is a narrative that UK media are practically yearning to create. Whereby they beat Archie and Lilibet versus William and Kate's kids. And my family, UK media, who have been extremely racist towards Megan, do you think for a second that they are going to treat Harry and Megan's kids with respect and dignity? My family, the answer is no. This year, just this year, this year, on the front pages of UK tabloids, they were attacking Lilibet over a name. Just earlier this year. Earlier this year. That's what they were doing. They were attacking Harry and Meghan's daughter over a name. And Lilibet is so, so young. So, so young. And my family, you never ever see them attacking any 
of William and Kate's kids. I have not seen them attacking any of William and Kate's kids. But they have attacked Harry and Meghan's kids. Whom somehow, they act as if my family, you know, they care for them. Oh, it's so sad that this rift has, you know, made sure that Archie and Lily Bedana are being raised away from their cousins. My family, they act as if they care about Archie and Lily Bedana. About their welfare, about who they are around. My family, Yuki Media, do not care about Archie and also about Princess Lily Bedana. They care about exploiting them. And that's why you can see for yourself, you can hear for yourself, as you've heard, that what they're really, really, very, very interested in is that photograph. That photo of Archie and Lily Bedana standing next to the my family, you know, William and Kids Kids. Standing next to other, my family, you know, members of the royal family. You know, for example, William and Kate's kids, or my family, you know, the other cousins. That's what they are very, very interested in getting. But a photo, any photo of Archie and Lilibet will do for the media. And my family in California... Even if Harry and Meghan were packed walking with their kids, you can media know that they have to blur the photos of Archie and Lilibet. Otherwise, they are setting themselves up for a huge lawsuit. My family. And of course, you can media, as I've said, are yearning for a lawsuit whereby they are sued by Meghan over Prince Harry. They are yearning for that because they want to use, you know, a case against them to try and extract more and more information, you know, about Harry Meghan, their lives, that is, my family. But the thing is, under Californian laws, it's clear. Even if a celebrity is working with their daughter or son, you are not allowed to take, to basically publish, sorry, to publish a paparazzi photo of my family as a celebrity with their child without their consent or approval. You know? And my family, and that's why even if Harry and Meghan have been seen out and about with their kids, for example, during uh, Harry and Meghan, you know, going to celebrate America's Independence Day, the 4th of July family celebration family, Harry Meghan were popped, you know, a while back. I think it was basically, you know, two years ago or one year ago. I'm not sure. Maybe I think it was basically, you know, my family more like uh, last year, if I am not mistaken. And my family Lily Mail got those pictures. And even if they got those pictures, they had to blur the photos of Archie and Lily Bedan, which is something that they don't like doing. They don't like doing that one bit. Why? Because they feel like they own members of the royal family. You know? They feel like they own them. What they're trying to do, however, is that uh, they're trying to use people like Thomas Markle, like, uh, for example, Charles also, to find a way to gain that, uh, to legally use a picture, a photograph of Archie and Lilibet to plaster on their phone pages, to plaster on their online, you know, website to exploit Harry and Meghan's kids. That's what they are looking for. And my family, I hope that they never ever get what they want. But what I am very, very confident of is this, is that Thomas Markle is never going to get a picture of Archie and Lilibet from Meghan. No way, no way, no way is that ever going to happen. My family, this interest, this interest that uh, UK Media have on Archie a little bit is concerning is concerning because i do know that they don't mean well for archie and a little bit which is what i'm also about to cover by giving you an example can you please continue hearing this you know what, his memories of the summers that he spent at Quite Balmoral happy. were really really happy yeah. and content and yeah. happy as well as of course the, the trauma of being at Balmoral when they were given the news that their mother had died but really Generally, very happy family ties, being able to spend time with their father, that quality time that 
you know, they don't not operate like a normal family. It, it tells you that some of the ludicrousness of, of Harry's crusade against the British government because he's missing out on so much, you know, when the family are getting together, places that he has had happy times. You know, let me just give you this other clip, my family, of what was basically and said. The last embers of this argument, I, don't, I just think it's just... Surrounding his protection. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's very happy to go to Nigeria and Colombia and... and uh, or feather his own nest that way, but in terms of being with his family, um, I'm sure he's made a lot of enemies along the way, but it, it does seem quite a sad situation he found himself in. Oh, we're talking about what they're My family, this person here who is talking, his name is Russell Myers, and he's the reason why I even made this video, my family. First of all, if you've heard him right, this person, when he speaks about Harry's family, he forgets that Harry has already a family, and his family is Megan Archie Lilibet. And don't worry, we are going to remind UK Media that indeed Harry has his own family now, and his family is Megan Archie and also Lilibet Dana. The only reason that they want Harry back in Balmoral is not just because Harry should never have, they don't, they never ever wanted Harry to leave the role for, no. It's because they are trying to correct the mistake that they made. Whereby they pushed and pushed and pushed. And Harry fled the UK and left the road forward. That is a mistake that the UK media are trying to correct. But they are going about it in a very, very wrong way. They are going about it in a very, very wrong way. My family, they think that somehow, if they destroy Harry's family, that's Meghan Archie Lilibet, the Prince Harry will come back running to them. They think that by bullying and abusing Prince Harry and throwing insults towards him, that somehow that will make Harry talk with them or speak with them. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. The only thing that bullying and abusing Harry Meghan does, and it's ever done actually, it's make Harry Meghan leave that toxic environment. You know, we took media, keep on trying to drag Harry back to over and over and over and over again. And my family, Harry's family is Megan Archie and Lily Bredana. And when you get married and have your own kids, your number one priority is on your family, is on your wife and kids. You know? My family is on your wife and kids. That is your number one priority. You know? However, I know that in the royal family, it's a bit different. <laughs> Whereby, you know, nobody is supposed to leave. Basically, the royal fold. And uh, look at what has happened to Prince Harry because of uh, leaving. UK media are chasing after him. Every day for the past four years, ever since my family... He fled the UK, trying to find a way to drag Harry every week back to the UK. It's like, every week you see a story. Is Harry coming back to the UK for this event? That event. Next week also, one other thing after another. They are trying to drag Harry back to the UK over and over again. And my family, they are doing that also to try and isolate Prince Harry from his own family, from Meghan, from Archie, from Lilibet, to destroy his family. And for what? So Prince Harry can have Charles in his life. Someone who has never ever condemned the bullying of his own son. You know, by the UK media. Someone who has never ever done anything to defend his son from the attacks from the UK media. Someone who took away Harry's security. And a brother also, William, who physically assaulted Prince Harry while trying to destroy Harry's marriage. So Harry can reconcile with him you know my family i've always said this about uh, this agenda by the UK media even if prince harry is able to reconcile with william and charles and ends up losing his family in the process it is prince harry who's the loser and my family uk media are longing for him to lose to lose his family that way they can say that they have destroyed the spare like what they've done throughout history, from Margaret to Prince Andrew. That's the same thing.
that they want to do to Prince Harry. And Prince Harry, don't allow them to do that to you. Don't. Don't. Now, my family, speaking of Russell Myers, let me remind you of a tweet that he posted. Just my family when Archie was uh, born. When Archie was born and a picture came out of Megan, Harry, and Doria, you know, basically, you know, introducing the queen to Archie when he was born, when Archie was born. Let me read you a tweet from two carnival of so-called experts. Number one is Richard Eden. Number two is Russell Myers. My family, you've seen. Now, my family, after a picture came out of Meghan introducing Archie to the Queen, Carnival of so-called expert Richard Eden posted a comment saying this, and I quote, and my family, I must say that these are offensive comments. My family, he posted, you know, saying this, and I quote, is he Archibald? You know, in the same way as Ari is actually named Henry. My family, that's an insult. And then in response to Richard Eden's post, Russell Myers commented under Richard Eden's post, saying this, and I quote, plain old Archie. He can be a black cab driver. And my family, as you can see, he made abusive comments about Harry Meghan's son. Insulting comments about Harry Meghan's son, who was so young, who was so, so young. Even, it's no surprise really, that when he speaks about Harry's family, he doesn't mention Meghan or Archie or Lilibet. And my family, the thing is, it doesn't even matter. Because at the end of the day, what matters is what my family, Harry, thinks and believes. And for Prince Harry, he has shown through actions that his number one priority will always be towards Meghan, towards Archie, and towards Lilibet, his family. And that is what matters. What Russell does doesn't matter. However, his comments, which are clearly offensive, which were clearly offensive and still are offensive, and my family, what we condemn. We fully condemn his you know, insulting comments towards Harry Meghan's son, Archie. But of course, UK media will tell you that uh, they're so sad that uh, Archie doesn't get to grow up next to William and Kate's kids. What they're really upset about is how much money they're losing by not having any kind of access to Harry Meghan's son, Archie. What they're upset about is that my family, they are not making money from abusing Archie because that is what they intended to do in my family throughout, you know, Archie's childhood to the day that my family, he, you know, came of age, maybe 18 years old, my family. That's what to give me, they wanted to keep on doing, abusing him. And by Harry Meghan taking the son out of that environment and now also strictly protecting Archie and his privacy. UK media are angry about that. They're angry about that because they want to be able to exploit Archie, to exploit a little bit and make money off of them and make them miserable. Once again, may they never ever succeed. May they never ever succeed. So my family, the reason why even I showed you this tweet from years ago when Archie was born is to remind you, when you see a carnival of so-called expert acting, as if they care about Archie, as if they care about Lilibet, they don't, they don't, they don't. They just want him, that's Archie, Lilibet, even Prince Harry, to be in close proximity. That way they can easily abuse them. They want to see the impact of their abuse on their victims. That's what they want to see. They want to see their victims broken. That's what you media want to see. And my family, may that never ever happen to Prince Harry. 
Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana. May they keep on, you know, being a strong, united family who love each other. You know, always and forever. May they keep on being a united, strong family who genuinely care and love each other. That's my wish for Prince Harry and Megan and their kids. You know, may the farm that Harry comes from never ever destroy the family that comes from Prince Harry. That is Megan, Archie, and also Princess Lilibet Diana. You know, my family, that is my hope for Prince Harry and Megan and also their lovely kids. That they be happy, that they thrive, and that they keep on doing so so well my family that is my wish for them 100 percent my family so so my family as i've said and as you've had uk media keep on showing an interest in archie and also in lady bedana harry and megan's kids who they have no access to to them i want to tell them this focus on william and kate's kids george louis charlotte and leave harry and megan's kids alone leave them alone Leave them alone. I always remember the words of Duncan Lancome who said that when Archie comes of age, we are going to have fun. Meaning, Wikimedia are going to have fun. And you know what fun means to Wikimedia? You know what fun means to Wikimedia? It means being abusive. It means being racist. And my family, may God bless and protect Harry, Meghan and their kids from the toxic, racist, British tabloid media who clearly have my family, you know, ill wishes who bear ill will towards, you know, Harry, Meghan and their kids. May God protect and bless Harry, Meghan and also, you know, their kids, my family. And right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie and also Lily, Bedana and Doria, Brooklyn and all of you members of the home. A never wins, love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And also, the whole family has made it very, very clear through actions that they have no interest in Harry Meghan's kids. And my family, you are seeing that also reflect from the Wikimedia. Who themselves, when they speak of Harry's family, they don't mention Meghan or Archie or Lil Bedana. That should tell you everything that you need to know. That their only agenda is to try and destroy the family that comes from Prince Harry. That's Meghan, Archie, Lil Bedana. And may they never ever succeed. And then also, don't destroy them and then explain Exploit the trauma, misery, and suffering that they cause. That is what Yuki Media want to do. And may they never ever succeed in their evil plots and agenda against Harry Meghan. Harry Meghan are clearly doing the right thing by continuing to protect their kids' privacy. And Yuki Media must understand this. Abuse will never ever make Harry Meghan speak with them or invite them into their lives. Abuse ensures that Harry Meghan, you know, number one, protects the kids. Number two, ensures that they keep their distance from the toxic UK media. My family, I've said enough. You tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed and the interest that we keep on seeing that UK media have towards Archie and Libidana. I want to hear your opinion on that. It is so sad that uh, you can see that clearly the royal family are protecting you know, William, Kate, his, their kids. However, they are telling UK media that also Archie deliberate a fair game. It's so wrong and evil what they're doing. And they must leave Harry, Meghan and their kids alone. Stay tuned to this video. Love you also forever and may God bless you all my family. And I condemn the racism that Meghan, Archie, Lilibet have been subjected to by the toxic media, by people like Russell Myers. I condemn the racism that Megan has been put through, has experienced at their hands, at the hands of people like Russell Myers. Stay tuned for this video. Love you also forever, and may God bless you all, my family. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. 
Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.